Hey guys, U24 here. Uh, today we're gonna go check out whatever this is. So this is the Meido Fuku Toki Kanju. If you know Japanese, then probably you're already like, oh, that's a pretty weird title. Where is this going? But if you don't know, really quickly, Meido Fuku is like, you know, made clothing. You can maybe tell from our maid here. And Kikanju is machine gun. Maybe you could have, maybe you could have like picked that up from the fact that she's holding machine gun, but that's what this is. So this is put up by D3 back, I guess, from 2006. Uh, D3 is a publisher that they, they put out a lot of stuff. They put out a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, I think recently they're known for probably the Onei Chambara games, uh, which actually started as uh, some of these simple 2000 games, like way back when, and they kind of became their own thing. This unfortunately didn't get to that level, uh, but we're playing it now. So <laughs> let's dive in, I guess, and try to figure out what what this is? What is a maid and machine gun? Maybe it's a good idea to have all your maids chained with machine guns. They'll protect you that way. This is our maid. This is our maid right here. Um, from the title. No machine gun though. She is a robot. Uh, with AI though. Of all the things you could make, of all the different types of robots you could make, why a maid? Like, that has to be a very personal preference, right? We just gave them a, I guess we gave her a very quick explanation uh, as to what's going on. So all she has to do is go back in time and protect us. How hard could that be? Right, here's our briefing. Um, what even? Okay, so we can start the stage, we can equip, I presume. Oh, cool. Well, we only have one costume for now, so uh, there's no point in looking too far into that. We can change our main gun here. Also, our sidearm. Well, also our AM rifle. I think that means anti-material, which is pretty crazy. That would be like heavy, like a heavy duty gun. Where even is this? This is like it's probably 20th century, I don't know, 21st century. Is that the professor? Is that... Oh my god. Alright, so it just says to uh, defeat- whoa, Jesus. Just the way that they move. Are they gliding? Okay, hold on. I don't even know what the controls are. Let's figure this- okay, so that's a lock-on. Uh... Okay, so that obviously- whoa, she even does like a awesome flip here. What is... Okay, there we go. Probably should have looked at the uh, instruction manual before we got started here. So, I think square is fire. Uh, R1 is lock-on. Looks like circle is switched to... Your sword? Whoa, that's awesome. I guess we have a melee weapon here. Circle is just your melee. Uh, what's reload? I'm gonna figure this out. Whoa, that's your anti-material rifle. Oh, okay. That's like metered. 167. I think? I can't even tell. Oh, no, it's the meter down there. Alright, let's just keep going here. Whatever. Oh, great. R2 is reload. Alright, I think we got things figured out here. What, so what are we- what are we shooting even? Like, what are these? I hope- I hope these are robots that we're shooting. Let's check out our melee weapon here. Oh, okay, wait, I need to reload. There's no auto-reload here. Oh, we can just hold the button down. Oh, that changes everything. Hey, let's turn the corner here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I'm so curious to see, like, I want to know what would have happened if this game took off and then we got more of this. Maybe there is more of this, I don't even know. All right, warning. Um, can I just, like, anti-material this thing? All right, that didn't do anything. Okay. Well, at least it's not hard. It's just like... There we go. I mean, we're almost done. This isn't really much of a boss fight. I need to reload. I'm out of ammo. I'm legit out of bullets. Oh, no. Okay. There's got to be sidearm, right? Like, which, which button is sidearm? Oh. Right, I forgot I could jump. Maybe, like, one of the D-pad... Nope. There we go. The good old anti-material rifle pulled me through. So we're just heading to a manor. A mansion. But like an English mansion, not not Japanese mansion. Cause that's what that's what they call apartments. Can we go oh, this isn't I thought it was like a deep river. Something's really weird about this water. Like, it looks like it should be deeper. I don't even know. Like, that's not a river at all. That's just like a really big puddle. Oh, wow. We're getting frame drops? I kind of wasn't expecting performance issues, but I'm not faulting it. It's not a huge deal. You know what? I honestly can't remember how much I paid for this game, but I assure you, it was probably worth it. I really feel like it was like $10. Because I remember I was like at the store and I was, what is this? Oh, this is like a mech. I think there's something piloting. Like, what is that? What is piloting this thing? Okay. Let me just anti-material, there you go. Well, that has so much health or whatever. I guess if you lock on and jump, you end up just doing this cool cartwheel thing. Yeah, I was, I'm reasonably sure that I paid $10 for this, and I mean... If you're in Japan, uh, and you find this somewhere... If you can find it for 10 bucks... But I mean, why not? The... okay. The game is practically playing in slow motion right now. Okay, I think this is a bad guy. Oh man, did you see its arms? Those were straight, like, FF7 polygon level. Like, they didn't try very hard. Alright, is this the professor? How do you explain that you came from the future to, to protect him? I think she's trying to uh, cover the fact that she came from the future and was made by him himself. Pretty much just said like, oh, I heard about you from your uncle and then had to tell him that his uncle isn't actually here and she just came here by herself to take care of things in the house. Well, that was it for stage two. No boss, no helicopter. Uh, but we did get an S rank on damage, so I do feel a lot better about that. So I guess we're just gonna try to save life for three minutes. Also, what is this village? This, this, uh, not village, this villa. What's even in here? It looks like just a piano and two big-ass open doors. This seems... odd. Okay, let's head out onto the, the veranda here, the, ter the terrace. Two enemies over here. Oh, let me just 
three enemies over here. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Alright, where are these enemies? This crosshair is just... Oh, I see. This is confusing and very difficult. This is hard. Oh my god. So, the camera kind of moves on its own, and you're just controlling the cursor here, the crosshair. That's all you're controlling. But once the car kind of, like, turns the corner like that, the crosshair, like, pulls out of your control. This is so hard. I can't even see the car. Where are you at, car? Oh my god. I'm just guessing here. Oh my god, that was lucky. As check out the left side again. How long does this even go for? This is supposed to go for three minutes. It feels like an eternity already. Oh my god, okay, I guess we're done. That answers that question. How we do? Average. So we did, we did average. Stage four. All right, all we have to do is, I, I guess, kill all the enemies and then head to the exit. So what I can tell so far is that we've done a lot of shooting and uh, not a lot of maid work. Not so much the house cleaning stuff. Well, that kind of leads me to believe that the fact that she is a maid is really just because of the uh, creator's preference here. Like, you could have made anything. Why a maid? I'm just, just, I'm destroying this, I'm destroying this house. I'm doing the opposite of what a maid should be doing. So this game, so far at least, has only one song. Uh, I hope you're not getting tired of it. Either you've, um, probably just started to drown it out like I am. Or you don't mind it. But it has a certain kind of characteristic to it. It has a certain kind of flair, if you know what I mean. I guess we did it. I guess we killed all the enemies and made our way to the exit. Wait, who is this? Oh, I know who this is. You're the you're the bad guy, but why are you dressed as a maid? As like a sexy maid? Wait, your your leader's name is Gerald? Well, I guess if we're going to complete our mission and get the young master out of here, we'll have to fight her. I don't have a lot of ammo. Also, she can jump really high. Alright, well... I guess we can just lock on and do this a lot. I only have 13 more bullets. This isn't gonna... This isn't gonna end well for us. Almost three more bullets. Oh, that's our last shot. Do I even have healing items? Like, I don't think we're gonna come out of this alive. Running out of ammo certainly did not help.
So out of all the games that I've played, let's say in the last 10 years, uh, these controls are up there on the worst. Well, that's that. That was fun. I guess it just ends the stage for you, and uh, then you have to retry? Probably from the beginning of the stage. Great. Alright, well, let's try that again. So you're probably wondering, why are these controls so bad? How are they bad? So basically, when you have your gun out like this, pressing circle doesn't immediately, sw like, attack. It actually just switches to your sword. So if you have your gun out and you want to use a melee strike, you have to hit circle to switch, and then you have to hit circle again to execute your strikes. It's just a little bit annoying. And then once you're done your combo of three, uh, you kind of have to like wait a little bit. There is like a tiny bit of cooldown or something before you are able to start attacking again. Also, you cannot move and attack at the same time. If you're holding forward, if you're running, and you try to hit circle, you're not gonna attack. And the same thing goes for the uh, anti-material rifle. If you're moving, hitting L2 actually won't fire your gun. So if you want to use your sword or the rifle, you have to stop moving. Let's try this again. I wish I had more health. Oh my god, we got so close. There we go, thank god that's over. I guess she just became invisible, that was kind of weird, but at least that fight is done. Yeah, that did take a lot of effort. Can you imagine just being, I don't know, a kid in your own manner and seeing two maids fight each other with guns? And then being that chill about it? Alright, let's go ahead and let's take a super quick break right here. I think that is enough made a machine gun for now. Uh, but definitely go ahead and keep it on the channel. We'll have another part up pretty soon here. In the meantime, you can always go ahead and uh, I guess check out the channel for some more stuff like this. Uh, and feel free to follow me on Twitter. Uh, and also on Twitch. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9pm JST. So if you're around, definitely go ahead uh, and come hang out and chat. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, links to Twitter and Twitch will be in the uh, description. So go ahead and follow me there. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again. Take care.